Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Um, so earlier today, I made a quick tutorial before I went to play tennis about uh, this particular Chantilly skirt and about the fact that it was circular and doing a weight map. And as I was play after playing tennis, I, I suddenly realized that maybe the original person that had this question was wondering why or how to use this skirt in its full kind of expanded mode. I don't know how to, how to refer to it. I've talked about this before in 3D coats. Sometimes uh, women's skirts have stiffeners or some kind of, I don't know, starch or whatever, but, but they kind of flare out automatically. And so, uh, so the, the question is, how do you get it to do that? And if you saw my first video, and if you didn't go back and look at it, when you bring this in as cloth, because it's weighted to the legs, it, this stuff will all collapse into the legs. In order to get this to kind of keep this flare, you're going to have to bring it in as an accessory. So when you bring it in, change it to an accessory, and then you can go and transfer the skin weights and actually make it into uh, whatever you want to make. In this particular case, I made it into a dress. And then when you, after you do that, it'll still stay in this flared position out, but now it's uh, a dress and, and now it has a cloth. So now, so now, here's the deal. So now we can still go ahead back to what we did before and put the weight maps on it, just like we did. This is the same weight map, although this time I've lowered the brightness down considerably. Why did I do that? Well, just like with hair, if you've seen any of my hair tutorials, if you want to keep some body to the, to the item, whether it's hair, whether in this particular case a skirt, uh, you don't want the weight map to be very uh, bright. So you want it to be pretty dim. So that way it still has some physics involved, but it also has some stiffening involved. So if we do that and bring it then into iClone, then you're going to get something like this. So this is this is it with that weight map. But you'll notice it's flared out more. And now, you know, so then whether this is exactly what she had in mind or not, this is another way of using the skirt this way with that particular weight map. So, so you have two different options. You can go ahead and bring it in as cloth. If you do, it'll gather itself around the feet and hang down below the feet. Uh, and then it'll be very, very flowing. Or if you want to have some stiffness to it, bring it as an accessory, just like we did with hair, and then change it into cloth, in this case a dress, and then apply a pretty dim weight map. Again, this is that, that weight map I used, except I've lowered the, the dimness to it down to, one thir to 38. Might even lower it more if you didn't want as much, or, or raise it or play around with it. And then if you do all that, you'll, you'll end up with uh, something that, that moves a little differently and flares out a little more. So you really have that choice. It's up to you in, in iClone how to, how to make things work. you notice it doesn't penetrate down on the feet like it did before. So that's probably more like what she had in mind for this skirt. So anyway, hope that helps, and we'll see you around on the forums.